I am going to talk about imparting fairness to pre-trained bias representations. My co-author, Dr. Bodetti and I are with the Department of Computer Science at Michigan State University. Our work is motivated by many recent examples of fairness and privacy issues in machine learning systems. In March 2014, The Guardian reported that Microsoft's AI chatbot got a crash course in racism from Twitter. In April 2017, FaceApp's creator apologized for the skin lightening filter deployed in the app. In February 2018, the New York Times pointed out that facial recognition systems are more accurate for white males. These examples clearly demonstrate the necessity of the privacy and fairness consideration in machine learning and particularly in representation learning. As we know, handcrafted processes cannot learn useful representations from complex data. Out of this, deep learning has emerged as an effective tool for representation learning. However, in the real world, we have limited control on the training data. For instance, a bias in Microsoft's commercial gender classification system has been pointed out. It performs with more than 99% accuracy on light faces, while the accuracy for darker faces amounts only to about 87%. As an example for privacy leakage, consider the naive representation learning for a smile detection on IMDb faces. It leaks considerable information on the gender of images as well. So, what's going on? The reason lies in the dark side of deep learning. All statistical correlations in data, including the ones related to bias and privacy are absorbed as well. So, what can we do? A very intuitive approach to control semantic information is first to learn a representation from data in a standard way. Then the information necessary for the target task is retained. While at the same time, the information related to the sensitive attributes is removed. To achieve this aim, adversarial representation learning has been introduced as a three-player game between an encoder which tries to extract features Z, a target predictor which learns to predict the desired task from the features, and an adversary which tries to extract sensitive information from the features. The optimization problem would be minimizing the target loss while keeping the loss of adversary as large as possible. The central aim of this paper is to impart fairness to pre-trained bias representations while providing some mathematical understandings. To achieve this, we deployed a nonlinear kernel on the already learned representation. The resulting output of kernel can be of infinite dimension. Then we utilize a linear encoder on top of the kernel output. At the end, we model both the target predictor and the adversary by linear regressors. This approach enables us to obtain the MSE of target and adversary in a closed form as a function of encoder parameters and input data. Then we try to find the best encoder which minimizes the target MSE for a given maximum tolerable degree of leakage or bias. Let's look at the optimization problem from a geometrical point of view. The objective part of the optimization problem is equivalent to finding the closest plane or line to the subspace of target attributes. The constraint part can be described as a plane or line outside the alpha cone centered around the subspace of sensitive attributes. Thus, the solution is a tangent plane or line on the cone closest to the target space. This optimization problem is neither convex nor differentiable. 
The non-convexity arises from the fact that the feasible set is non-convex, and the non-differentiability is due to the fact that the solution is either a two-dimensional plane or a one-dimensional line. Instead of solving the previously mentioned constraint optimization problem, this unconstrained Lagrangian version was solved instead. The Lagrangian version is also non-convex and non-differentiable. The proof is provided in the paper given in the footnote. Furthermore, the optimal embedding dimensionality is the number of negative eigenvalues of convex combination of target and sensitive covariance matrix. The global optimal encoder is any matrix whose column rank is the span of associated eigenvectors. To summarize our theoretical contributions, we provided a global optimal for the best encoder and the optimum dimensionality of the embedding vector as well. Now, let's look at some experimental results. In the first experiment, we considered the fair classification of income on UCI adult data set, where the sensitive attribute is gender. The naive classification results in gender detection accuracy of 98%. Simply removing the gender information from raw data still results in 83% of gender detection accuracy. A state-of-the-art adversarial representation learning can considerably obscure gender information. Its adversary accuracy is only 0.3% different from random chance. On the other hand, our approach can hide the gender information perfectly. If we look at the encoder weights, we can realize that not only gender information is suppressed, other gender-related features, such as body weight, are also suppressed. In the second experiment, we considered smile detection while gender is the private attribute. Naive classification results in 21.5% like privacy leakage. The zero-sum gain approach can reduce the privacy leakage to only 1%. However, it comes with the cost of losing 1.5% target classification accuracy. The performance of non-zero-sum game approach is comparable to that of the zero-sum game approach. On the other hand, our global optimal approach leaks no information about gender while keeping the target classification only 0.5% below the benchmark accuracy. To sum up, our work contributes striving a step towards imparting fairness to pre-trained representations with provable guarantees. We introduced closed form solution for optimal encoder and embedding dimensionality. Thank you so much for listening.